Hello and welcome to another Teacher's Corner. I'm Teacher Kirby and this time it's going to be a playthrough. We're going to be playing through some of the new content we have, which is, in this case, going to be Jem'Hadar. So I'm on my Jem'Hadar character in Final Fantasy IX. I'm in my free Tier 5 use bug ship which started in the previous episode, Turn the Tide, and now we are going to play the next episode available called Storm Clouds Gather. The Alliance has agreed to a summit meeting with us to discuss the return of the Herc and what can be done to prevent their aggression from devastating all four galactic quadrants. Despite recent events, they've agreed to host the summit at Deep Space Nine. I'm not surprised. None of the galactic powers are comfortable hosting a Dominion fleet deep within their territory. Meet with me at DS9 prior to the beginning of the summit. I'd like to discuss our options. So we're to go to Deep Space Nine and meet with our faction leader, get a number of experience points, do Ketrasol White, uh, Dilithium Ore, and some other items here. Okay. If you'll excuse me. Go and begin when storm clouds gather. We've entered the Denorius belt first. I'm reading several civilian vessels on sensors, in addition to the flagships of the summit attendees. The station is still damaged from the recent attack, but it appears that critical system repairs are complete. Their damage control team must be working double shifts. Indeed, Helm, take us to the station. Please, we're low on fuel and supplies. We need help badly. Tell the ambassador that any Jem'Hadar aggression will be met with deadly force. Oh, wow, that pylon is just. This is Station Welcome Control. There. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Your docking clearance has been authorized. Several of our docking facilities were damaged in the recent conflict. Please proceed to the provided coordinates. Also, Captain Nog is waiting to meet with you on the promenade at your earliest convenience. Enjoy your stay here at the station. Dock at DS9. An away team will be standing by while you attend the summit first. Are you ready to transport to the station? So I'm going to over with my complement of Jem'Hadar. Of other Jem'Hadar. Hello, I've been assigned to assist you here on the station. The leaders of the four major delegations have asked to meet with you prior to the summit meeting. Their offices are located here on the promenade. Very well, Captain. So I'm supposed to meet with the faction leaders, Admiral Quinn, Chancellor Zimpak, Pro Council Dutton, and Ambassador Odo. There are waypoints here, so let's go. Explore. Admiral Quinn's office is behind those doors. Well, and there's Admiral Quinn. The results of this summit could have long-lasting effects. A number of our allies, especially the Klingons, consider the Herc to be a Dominion problem. The Federation sees this as a chance to improve relations with your people. Having allies in the Gamma Quadrant instead of enemies 
would be a great step toward galactic peace. Understood, okay. Now, Here is Proconsul Deton's office. Here is the Romulan symbol with all its trappings. This summit may be difficult. While the Federation will see a path toward peace, I suspect the Klingons will feel the opposite. There is no love lost between them and your people, or the Herc for that matter. The Republic position is one of pragmatism. The Herc are a threat no one can ignore, regardless of what quadrant their home lies in. Understood, Procon. Tesla like Jempok own... has an office here. Base 9, and there's Jempok's office, I would assume. Yep. I would not hope for aid from the Empire, Jim Hadar. Most of the High Council see the Herc purely as a Dominion problem. There are others, such as Martok, who see that position as dishonorable. If they want to fight the war of their ancestors, so be it. But they will be doing so without the Empire. The same could be said for our allies, should they side with you. Understood, Chancellor. Under a that's Something hard. on your mind. I'm not fond of being gaped at like a dumbstruck Tark. <laughs> or what exactly? You do not frighten me, and I can think of a dozen ways to kill you with my bare hands. If you're lucky, I'll use one of the three that are quick and relatively painless. Buzz away now, Globfly. Perhaps you can impress old Martok with your growls. Look now! Really feels like he stepped into the room. Ambassador Odo is here, coordinating security efforts. It's important to win the hearts and minds here. Many of the summit attendees, particularly the Klingons, consider the Herc to be our problem, and our problem alone. It's up to us to convince them otherwise. If we don't stand together, the Herc will ravage every civilization, one by one, throughout the galaxy. As you command, Founder. There are several Alpha Quadrant leaders here for the summit. Kai Kira of Bajor, Counselor Garrick of Cardassia, and my father, Ferengi Grand Nagus Rom. I recommend meeting with them as well. Their worlds will be on the front line if the Herc launch a full invasion into this quadrant. Very well, Captain. I believe the Kai is here. My father is in my uncle's bar. Hard to believe he used to work there, huh? <laughs>
Erin Nuri. Hello there. I, I'm a little surprised to see a Jemadar here. I figured Odo would have come himself to find out where Bajor stands, huh? I can tell you we're worried. If you fall, the Herc will come here and we'll be the first to face them, so Bajor stands ready. We'll do what we can to stop them, even if that means joining forces with the Dominion. That is correct. Our fight is yours as well. There's something else I should mention. I've experienced visions recently, a sign from the prophets. I see a place I've been before, a world beyond the grip of death. It's the home of a former Kai, and it's in the Dominion. I should also mention that I've seen you in this vision as well. I believe we're going to take a journey together soon. What are your duties as Kai? As Kai, I'm obligated to serve the will of the prophets. Doing so leads me to many places, not just Bajor. That can be difficult, especially in times of war. There's been a lot of that in the last few years. First the Dominion, then the Klingons, the Iconians, and now the Herc. There are times <laughs> when I wonder how Ben Sisko managed during the Dominion War. And he was the emissary. I've tried to follow his example whenever possible, but it's... It's been a challenge. No doubt. Something else on your mind? Not at the moment. Looks like Counselor Garrick is in his old tailor shop. Huh. <laughs> Hello there. I take it you're not here to update your ensemble. Though if you'd like a few suggestions, I'd be happy to provide some. In the meantime, let's talk about serious business, shall we? I'm sure you'd like to know Cardassia's position on the Herc problem. It's simple, really. They're a menace, and one we should deal with swiftly. Continue. Surprised? <laughs> Don't be. Cardassia was recently attacked by the Herc. We'd have fared poorly without help from our neighbors. Even the Lucari and the Ferengi offered a hand. There's no love for the Dominion on Cardassia. But we know that we're next if you fall to the Herc. And so, we're ready to be good neighbors. This used to be your store? Once upon a time, when I was but a tailor. That was before plain, simple Garrick became a member of the Detapa Council, of course. Before the Reconstruction and the Iconian War and the Herc. While I'm proud of the work I've done for Cardassia over the years, there's a part of me that yearns to be here once more. To be just a tailor, just Garrick. We go where we're needed. Will there be anything else? Nothing at the moment. There is with Rom. There he is. I was wondering when you'd come along. I'm guessing you're here to talk about the Herc and what we want to do about them. It's no secret that the Ferengi aren't a military powerhouse like the Klingons. Most of the time, we'd be happy to make a tidy profit from all of this, and as far away from it as possible. 
That changed when the Herc attacked Ferenginar. Continue. We would have been wiped out without help. And we didn't get it from Starfleet or the Klingons. We got it from the Lucari and the Cardassians. Even a few not cool ships showed up to fight. That showed us that this is everyone's fight, big or small. So we're in. And if the 34th rule of acquisition comes into play, well... How did you convince your people to join? It wasn't easy, believe me. I've managed to get the board of liquidators with us for now. Most of them see the potential for incredible profit. Alliance defense contracts can be very lucrative. The rest, well, let's just say their self-preservation instincts are strong. They'd rather fight with the Alliance than stand alone. The Herc have me thinking about adding a new rule of acquisition. If they can't be bought, get ready to fight! That seems appropriate where the Herc are concerned. Did you have another question? Not at the moment, no. The Alliance has asked a number of special consultants to attend the summit. I know each of them well, and I can vouch for their knowledge and skill. Even my Uncle Quark. Despite his reputation, his knowledge of the Gamma Quadrant is valuable. Just don't mention Latinum in the discussion, or the value of his information could rise considerably. Understood. I gotta talk to Lita. Ooh. Hello. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in this place. I can't believe Quark still has that ooh, hollow me in here. It's a little embarrassing, to be honest. I wish we were all here under better circumstances. Then again, DS9's always been a trouble magnet. <laughs> I guess peace is a little too much to ask for around here. Continue. My husband is risking a lot of capital, political and otherwise, by choosing to get involved with all of this. Fortunately, he's the best Grand Nagus to come around in a long time. The best ever, as far as I'm concerned, but <laughs> I'm pretty biased on that point. Continue. Look, if I were this mirror version of me I've been hearing so much about, I'd have a lot more tactical advice to offer. As it is, my advice to you is this. Take a look around. Think about all the civilians, the refugees, people who are depending on you to protect them. Think about the best way you can do that, if you can. That's what I'd do if I were in your shoes. Boots, whatever. Mirror version? Yeah. In that alternate universe where good people are evil and vice versa, turns out the evil version of me is an admiral there. Real piece of work. Wears lots of leather, carries a whip. Oh, and she's in command of the evil Enterprise. Oh my god. I found out about her from my husband's information gathering specialists. Never hurts to be well informed, right? Rule of acquisition number seven. Keep your ears open and your eyes on the mark. Or rule number 74, knowledge equals profit. Was there something else? No, thank you. Hope if I actually remembered to speak with Quark before I left. There he is. Don't suppose you're here for a drink? Hollow sweet? Dabo? Can't blame me for trying to find profit while I can. My fool of a brother, the Nagus, seems hell-bent on getting the Ferengi into this mess. Not a lot of profit in fighting the Herc, 34th rule or not. You can't spend your money when you're dead. Continue. If you ask me... We'd be better off sealing that wormhole and saying goodbye to the Herc and the Dominion forever. I'd miss the Tulaberry wine, but I'd get over it. But seeing how that'll never happen, especially as long as Kira's still breathing, I suppose I'll have to dig in like everyone else. You know what the worst part of this mess is? 
Odo. He's back like a kind of ghost haunting me. I must be cursed. I hear you own a moon now? I do. And I'd be there, enjoying myself. If it weren't for the Grand Nagus. Brother or not, I wanted nothing to do with this until he put Lucari terraforming tech on the table. Couldn't pass that up. It'll cut biosphere renovation costs on my moon by 70%. Even with Odo here, and a billion Herc trying to demolish everything in sight, there's profit in the wind. Might finally land that exclusive Tula Berry export contract I've been dreaming about for 40 years. Assuming the Herc don't eat all of the Tula Berries. Can I get you something? I'm fine for now. Doctor, doctor, where is the doctor? Sick bay. Sick bay, where is sick bay? Find sick bay. Huh? On Herbalist. Ooh, Jumja. Okay. But we digress. We are looking for you. Nice to meet you. Dr. Julian Bashir, recently recommissioned Starfleet officer at your service. Can't say I was expecting to see a Gem Hadar here today. We're doing what we can to get things in order after that business with the Zenkethi and the Herc. The station took quite a beating. Worse than I saw during the Dominion War. We're still treating casualties and it looks like we'll be seeing more soon. A lot more. Uh-oh. Continue. The situation is compounded by the presence of civilians, both local and from other systems, even the Dominion. We have a number of refugees from the Gamma Quadrant on the station, and more are on the way. Clearly, the sooner we can solve the Herc Dilemma, the better. We'll be beyond our capacity to help the refugees soon, as will Bajor. Recently commissioned, you left Starfleet? I mustered out some time ago to start a private practice on Trill. Since then, I've worked on special projects for Starfleet from time to time as a consultant. Even managed to start a family. <laughs> Needless to say, I wasn't initially thrilled with the idea of putting the uniform on again. Still, it's very hard to say no to Kai Kira and Captain Dax. And so here I am, back on the front of an interstellar conflict. Here's hoping it's a brief one. An ideal outcome. But unlikely. Something on your mind? Nothing now. There's a number of refugee groups here on the promenade. Now let's go speak with the refugee group. Are you surprised seeing Karemans here on a Federation station? That's how bad it is back home. We had to come to the Federation to find safe haven. There's nothing for us in the Dominion. Not anymore. That's right. Your gods abandoned us to the Herc and left us to fend for ourselves when the invasion got rough. It's no wonder there's talk about rebellion on Karema and many other worlds besides. And now, here you are. Just like us, asking the Alliance for help. Don't be surprised if they refuse. P 
people here still remember the war and what you, Jem'Hadar, did to this quadrant. You ask me? It'd be justice if they turned their backs on you, just like you did to us. Trust the Founders. Help you. More refugees. And it's refugees, where are they? A gem Hadar? Here? Where were you when we needed you most? When the Herc came, we sent distress calls. But no gem Hadar came. The Founders didn't save us. Only a few of us managed to get away on ships before the Herc closed in. Continue. Word of the Bajorans and their faith reached us after the war ended. Their stories about one of their spiritual leaders. She came to the worst of us, on our prison moon, to bring the wisdom of the Prophets. So, when the Herc came, we decided to come here, through the Celestial Temple, to seek deliverance. If our old gods won't listen to us, perhaps Kai Kira and the Prophets will. Turning away from the Founders is not wise. The summit will begin soon first. Transmit your report to me for review. Hmm. The Federation and Klingon positions were predictable. I'm surprised the others aren't sitting it out, particularly the Ferengi. They're usually more interested in saving their own skins, after all. Interesting that Dominion citizens are traveling here for safety. We'll have to do something to assist Starfleet and the Bajorans on this. That's all for now, First. Report to me in the conference room when you arrive. It will be so, Founder. Alrighty, that come. Actually, is that? Basically, take a turbo lift. To the conference room. What a surprise. Everyone's here and no one started shooting. Quite a commendable level of restraint. See if you can keep it that way. Take a moment to get settled. Speak with the others. Things will be serious soon enough. Yes, Founder. I envy you, Jem'Hadar. You have had the honor of fighting the Herc to defend your home as a warrior born. Jem'Puck is not willing to face the truth. There are Klingons who fear the Herc, hiding behind politics and rules. Grethar waits for their worthless souls. Continue. Know this. There are still Klingons who know where their blades belong. We will not dishonor our ancestors and ignore the Herc. We will fight them to our dying breath in the name of Kalos and the Empire. As you say, Kapla. Ah, the newly appointed first. I'm glad we had a moment to talk before the summit begins. Your report on the other attendees and their positions was appreciated by myself, as well as the Founder. I hope you realize the distinct honor that has been bestowed upon you. To speak 
directly to a god is a privilege, one seldom offered to a Jem'Hadar. I trust you will not abuse this. I live to serve the Founders. Hello again. I spoke with Odo about the vision we discussed. He's agreed to clear a mission to the old sector. Opaka, the former Kai I mentioned, lives there now. Does this involve your visions? I believe so, yes. The Kai has a condition that has prevented her from leaving until now. Odo has provided us with data that could lead to a cure. If there's a chance, I'm willing to take it. Her wisdom could help us all greatly. I realize this is a lot to take in, but I hope I can count on your help when the time comes. It is the Founder's will. I will go. Hello. I have high hopes for this summit. Many worlds in this quadrant have been attacked by the Herc, including my own. We must all realize that without the Dominion, the Herc will wreak havoc throughout all quadrants, and we will all suffer. I can't help but think that there's a path to a peaceful resolution in all of this. There's got to be some way to end this madness before more lives are lost. Perhaps there is. If I can have everyone's attention, thank you. Let's begin the summit. We have a lot to discuss. Thank you all for coming. By now, you should be aware of our tactical situation. The Dominion, as you know it, is on the verge of collapse. We've withdrawn to our core systems, and the lines are holding for now. Without your help, the Herc will win the War of Attrition. What about your outer systems? We're receiving refugees here, from those areas. We have one fleet left, Admiral. That's hardly enough to defend the entire Dominion. I'm failing to see how this concerns the Empire. The recent battle here is a sample of what the Herc can do. If you think they'll stop at the wormhole, you're sadly mistaken. Need I remind you that the Dominion came to your aid in the Iconian War? I seem to recall Klingons placing high value on debts of honor, or has that changed? Mind your tongue, Changeling! I will not be insulted! Admiral Quinn to Ops, what's happening? We're under attack, Admiral. It's the Herc! Reading Herc boarding parties! Multiple decks! They've concentrated in the damaged pylon, or processing area. Get to that damaged pylon section and lock it down before the Herc trigger an explosion that could wreck the station. It will be done, Founder. We're lift to ore processing. We are ore processing. Whoa. Yeah, because that's not creepy at all.
news the hangar security shield is on the verge of collapse if it drops you'll get pulled out into space so let's make sure that doesn't happen you need to stabilize the power relays and recalibrate the shields there are consoles near your position you can use to do this So we need to go upstairs to hangar control. stabilize our relay. Okay, if we can't do that one, can I Can I use this one? Hmm. Sir, I'm curious. So, if I can't use it. Nice work, but it's not over yet. The Herc have moved into the ore processing area above your position. There's a lot of unstable uranium ore in there. If they damage it, it could ignite and set off a chain reaction that could destroy the pylon. You'll need to make your way up there to secure the area and restart the safety systems there. Understood. All right. system in this section was reset. You'll need to rotate the central column and extend the bridges in order to reach the next section. Very well. I died. Personal shield losing power.
Okay, you're almost in the clear. The safety systems for the area are currently offline. You'll need to restore power to that section and reinitialize the safety systems to get everything back online. Acknowledge. The safety systems are reinitializing. They should be up and running in a few minutes. Nice work. Hold on. I'm picking up multiple Herc life signs in your area. They're converging on your position. I need you to defend that section from the Herc until the system comes online again. If they get in before that happens, they could knock it offline again, or worse. Understood. my boss Enemy yeah. they got me where are my boss they being oh no they're close First, DS-9 Command has requested the aid of all available ships in the sector. The station and a number of civilian vessels are under heavy attack. Need you on the bridge. Transporters are standing by, ready to beam you back to the ship on your command. Well... The Herc are attacking the station and several civilian vessels in the system. I've sent ships to assist them, but I'm concerned our forces are spread too thin. I'd like you to work with those ships to protect the civilians while the rest of us defend the station. First Dukon Rex will accompany you as a combat escort.
As you command, Founder. Starfleet vessels, this is Quinn. Protect civilian targets. Down, do to go. One more group to go.
Here we go. the course for Beta Z. May the prophets guide you. And now, secure the system. That means, shoot everything that's left. Nice work, but I'm afraid there's bad news. We're picking up Herc vessels and they're heading our way. The station's weapon systems are offline. We need a few minutes. Nice work, but I'm afraid there's bad news. We're picking up Herc vessels, and they're heading our way. The station's weapon systems are offline. We need a few minutes to get them up and running. Until then, we're a sitting duck over here. I've asked every ship in the sector to regroup and prepare for battle. Let's hope it's enough. Preparing to engage. your ancestors. Fight now and destroy the herd. Concentrate fire hey. on their capital ships. And don't die. <laughs> Chief, I need those systems online. Systems online in 60 seconds. Oh. Don't let the frigate swarms get behind you. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Odo. Just a few more seconds. Warning, ship is under attack. Systems online. Target the Herc and open fire. Left shield failing. Come on, die. Do this one little chunk at a time. Four shields failing.
Get your free salvage. That was the last of them. We're not picking up any Herc ships on long-range sensors, for now at least. Hopefully it's clear to the Alliance that the Dominion is prepared to work with them to stop the enemy. Let's hope they're ready to do the right thing. Hmm. In the meantime, my fleet will do what it can to keep the Herc on our side of the wormhole. Remain vigilant. I will have new orders for you soon. Remember, victory is life. Victory is life. Glory to the Founders. Pay close attention, recruit. I will only speak of this once. The severity of the Herc's attacks was surprising, but we should have been prepared. This is not the first time we have been forced to deal with them, after all. Continue. For the first time, we require... allies. We must make it clear to the Alliance that the Herc threat is real. It could destroy us all. You're going to be tested. This will take more than being a good soldier. You'll need to be a diplomat, an ally, even a friend. Am I understood? I understand, Honored Elder. All decks have reported in first, ready to depart on your command. That was unexpected, but I suspect it will show the Alliance just how real the Herc's threat is to all of us. After today, I'd like to think that letting the Herc destroy the Gamma Quadrant is not a viable option. For most of them, anyway. In the meantime, I have received a request from Kai Kira of Bejor. She's asked to lead a mission to the Ennis system, and I've approved it. She has also asked for your assistance. Provide it. And first, make sure she comes back safely. Consider it your highest priority. Dismissed. Get our reward. Let's see. Oh. All right. I need your help with a very sensitive mission. A former Kai Opa. And that was the mission Storm Clouds Gather. And we will see you next time for Armistice. See you then. Uh -huh.